everybody, this is Melissa Britt with the Jackson County Area Chamber of Commerce and we're here with you for talking about Jackson. And we have Joe Hicks here today with us. Hello. And I'm happy to have you here. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if you saw our last video. I did. Dylan, big shoes to fill. Uh, right. So it was great. We're learning a lot of things about our interviewees that some people don't know. So first, I would like to ask you what brought you to Jackson County? What brought me to Jackson County? Well, Jackson EMC brought me to Jackson County. A uh, couple of other factors involved as well. My, my wife and I both attended UGA and wanted to get back to this area. Jackson County is in, in the area. Uh, lived in Gwinnett for a while working with Jackson EMC when the op opportunity opened in the Jefferson office. Uh, took that and came back and have jumped in full force and loving every minute of it. Awesome. So you've kind of made the pace from a, a busier, larger community um, out here. So how, do, how are you liking that? I like that. I don't miss the traffic of, of Gwinnett. Gwinnett's a great place, a lot going on. You're from Gwinnett. Yeah. You were there as well. Yes. Shared time there. That's right. But uh, definitely it's nice to uh, still find a dirt road or two in Jackson County. I, I agree. Definitely. So for this next question, I can't believe that you actually have a top number one. I don't even know if I could do a top five, and that is, what is your favorite movie and why? And you know, I do have several top. I'm kind of a, I mean, you know, Tombstone, some of, I mean, there's there's a lot. Even Princess Bride may sneak in there. Oh, I, hate, I hate to admit that. But, fabulous. But, yeah. but I'd have to say, all-time favorite, and I've watched it, multiple 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 times has to be Braveheart uh, just the standing up for something standing up for what you believe the just the essence of that movie and the, the, the lesson of that movie especially as I have children and are, and are raising them to stand mm -hmm. up for something and fight for something I think it just has a has a timeless message so watched it multiple times and uh, just always one I'm going to turn on no matter where it is if I catch it on TV and you you can't get much better than Mel Gibson in a kilt. But I don't I don't know about that. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Braveheart. Good one. I have never seen that. Oh, you're kidding. So I'll put it I'll on bring, my list. I'll bring you the DVD. I'll put okay. it on my list. Okay. Um, so tell us, Joe. You mentioned you worked uh, work for Jackson EMC. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you do there. I am the district manager of uh, covering Banks, Barrow, and Jackson counties. So I get to work in three great counties, uh, and I've been with Jackson EMC uh, on my 17th year, I believe. Came through residential marketing, commercial marketing, and now in the district manager role. And you're a busy man, too, because Joe uh, is also the chair, uh, chairman of our chamber this year, and um, it's, it's been a great year so far, but it's been different. Uh, and challenging so um, well you guys make that job easy the staff here at the chamber is, is awesome to work with and uh, you know as as far as being the, ch the chairman if you're ever asked take that job because it's a great job you've got great support here at the chamber but uh, it has been a unique year there's been some challenges there's been a lot that uh, we've had to navigate the good thing is no one's navigated it before so they really don't know if I'm doing a good job or not so that's been a been a blessing in disguise well, we're enjoying it so far. Um, okay, so right now I'm going to ask you what we call rapid fire. Okay. And it's like a little 20 to 30 second segment where we're just going to ask you this or that and you have to choose. And these are just, you know, don't think hard about it off the top of your head. Okay. Okay. Train or plane? Train. Card game or board game? Board game. Movie theater or Netflix and chill? Uh, Netflix and chill, but I want the movie theater popcorn. Okay. Oh, totally agree. Ninja or pirate? Pirate. Always. The Arctic or the desert? Oh, I hate cold. Desert. Bert or Ernie? Oh, my goodness. Bert. <laughs> Truth or dare? Uh, dare. Touch or taste? Taste. Swimming or sunbathing? Swimming. Football or baseball? Football. Skydive or bungee jump? Oh, uh, bungee jump. Name brand or discount? Discount. 
<laughs> I knew you were going to yeah, say that. Discount. I always discount. <laughs> dancing or singing? Oh, uh, not good at either. Enjoy singing more than dancing. Cabin in the woods or condo on the beach? Cabin in the woods. Introvert or extrovert? Uh, middle. Middle vert? Or. I'll pick or. Okay. Awesome. And those little questions can, you know, if you really look into it, they can answer, um, they can tell a lot about a person. Yeah. So thanks for doing that with me. Yeah, no problem. Um, okay. What do you love about our beautiful Jackson County? You know, the thing I love about Jackson County is probably the same thing most people love about Jackson County is, is we're a family. Uh, I had the opportunity just yesterday to go out with uh, Chairman Crow and watch him as he put fish in his pond. And uh, I've gotten phone calls during this corona quarantine from people just checking in. We're not just business associates. We're not just a working. We're all running our businesses. We're all getting that accomplished. But we're also a family. We care about each other. I think that's awesome. I think that we can be friends and professional associates as well. And I think that's, that's something that not every community can capture. I love that answer. Good. Love it. Okay. This one, I think because we're, we're all human, we all have something that keeps us awake at night. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us, tell us what that is for you. What keeps me awake at night? You know, honestly, I, uh, I sleep pretty well. And uh, I think it's because I know that it really everything is going to be okay this is a unprecedented time uh, but but there's always been unprecedented time but there's always been strong leaders and strong people that have come through at the end that have helped us navigate those times I don't think this is going to be any different uh, if anything keeps me awake at night uh, you know having three children of course I'm always wondering about their future and, and their, their present even but, uh, but even that, I have, I have a peace with. I know I, I do the best job I can as a dad. I have a wonderful wife that bails me out on multiple occasions. And <laughs> uh, there's, there's really not much that keeps me up at night because I have a peace that uh, everything's going to be okay. Well, I have a feeling that you'll have a lot of our viewers reach out and ask you what your secret is. I know uh, thinking of all the things that I have to do um, yeah. keeps me up at night. So Yeah, yeah. Well, awesome. Yeah, I mean, most people know I'm a, I'm a pretty spiritual guy and not always the, the best example of what I need to be, but I, I know what I want to be, and that's definitely something. Awesome. Well, I've known you for, I don't know, about 15 years, and I've learned some new things about you, Joe, so I really appreciate you joining us today, and we hope that you well, stay tuned because we'll have more like this coming your way on Talk About Jackson.